Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Now, Zambian President Edgar Lungu says corruption in his country is being politicized and that he is working to improve the country's legal framework. Here is part two of a conversation the president had with VOS Peter Clotty in New York. So, so Mr. President, one of the promises you made to Zambia is to root out corruption. How would you rate yourself in the fight against graft in the Republic of Zambia? Well, uh, you rate me after. Uh, because the, for Zambia, unfortunately, the fight against corruption has been politicized. It's become a special vehicle for those who seek political office to make their friends look very ugly. I have given latitude to the institutions mandated by law to investigate prosecute and bring to an end or reduce corruption. I have not tampered with them. I have not called them to my office to say, can you target that man because he's a threat to my political life and so on. I think on that score, I have given them space. And I've lobbied for funding for them from cooperating partners. I've lobbied. They've been given training programs. And I think apart from that, if you give me evidence that this one has gone astray, he's on the wrong side of the law, I'll work to him. But, but, but I can give examples of people who have used it in the past to say, oh, XY is corrupt. Can you deal with him? And I want to cite one example of a minister who I relieved of his appointment because he, he was ready to be corrupt. Uh, what happened is they gave me the information. The Financial Intelligence Center gave me information, and I think other wings of government gave me information that XY, your minister, is guilty of uh, corrupt practices. I said, oh, well, uh, probe him. And that's what uh, I'm supposed to do. And they probed this guy. And along the way, the guy said, you can't probe me, I'm a minister, and he kicked these guys in their backs. They came crying. You know? They said, look, that minister uh, is uh, bullying us. In short, he's not cooperating. I read that minister. And when I read the appointment of that minister, he became a crusader, uh, alleging corruption against his colleagues. Why? Because the, the institution, which was supposed to take him to, to, to court and prove the case, did not do so. And the, the politicians also ganged up with this minister, former minister, and said, no, uh, the government is corrupt. So, so you see, I think that by giving ground and space without interfering to, with the institutions mandated to investigate corruption, I've done very well. And I've challenged people that if the institutions are not working because of the legal framework being inadequate, let me know how we can follow through so that we give them the power and the teeth. That's what you do. Because I cannot be president and be responsible for investigating and prosecuting. I can't because that's not what the law says. That was Zambian President Edgar Lungu speaking with BOA's Peter Clotty in New York. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.